I love me a nude. I mean, I have so many nudes. Nude lipsticks, huh? I don't know what kind of nudes you thought I was talking about, but I was talking about the nude lipsticks. So. What is up, you guys? It is your girl, Jennifer Ross, coming to you with another video. And in today's video, I have my everyday makeup routine for you guys. There are a few things that I don't do every day, like for example, wearing lashes. And also I don't wear the same eyeshadow every single day, but the crease colors are always the same colors. And I have been to Sephora. Mm -hmm. Your girl has gone there, your girl has shopped. So I picked up a few new things. One of them is the Huda Beauty foundation that I wore today in this makeup look. And um, I also picked up the Fenty Beauty Foundation. Unfortunately, I didn't get to use that today. So if you want a separate video on that, I'm pretty sure everybody and their mama has done a makeup tutorial on it. So I don't think you need to know that, but you know, I can use it in a future video if you want me to. So let me know in the comments down below. And yes, without any further ado, let's just go ahead and get into the video. Bye guys. We're gonna use my NYX color correcting primer. This is the yellow one. And I already finished up a whole tube of this and it was amazing. So that's what we're using. The next, of course, it is time to go in with the foundation. I'm gonna apply that with a foundation brush because the lady in Sephora told me to explicitly bring it on with a brush. So we're gonna do just that. I can't help it I just love the way a beauty blender makes everything looks so I'm also gonna go in with a beauty blender but I must say that even though I already applied it with a brush it already looks pretty good but still I'm just gonna go in and you know give it an extra blend with my little sponge and I'm just applying some Mario Badescu rose water on my sponge and the sponge is wet by the way For concealer, I'm gonna use this little duo from NYX and I'm gonna use this side. It is their peach and cinnamon, whoa, hold on. It is their peach and cinnamon duo and I'm gonna use the peach side for concealing. just gonna blend that out with a little concealer brush and also with my beauty blender y'all know the drill you gotta use both you know because otherwise it won't be as a blended To set my concealer, I'm gonna go in with my Banana Dreams setting powder. I'm not a big fan of the whole baking situation, so I'm just gonna dust that off immediately. And for dusting it off, I'm gonna use my Real Techniques powder um, brush. While I dust it off, I also like to blend it into the rest of my face, you know, to set that whole foundation situation, you know. I'm gonna go in with this little powder and then just dusting it over. We're gonna do some contouring and for contouring, I'm gonna use my sleek quad. I'm gonna use these two colors to 
um, do my contouring so this color right here and this color right here and I like to use a little angled a little angled brush for this so I'm just dipping it in both of the two colors and just giving myself a sun-kissed contour little quad in the past but um, I don't know why I stopped using it because it's actually so bomb so I decided to pick it up again you know give them a little color okay then for nose contouring I'm just gonna get a smaller brush this is from real techniques I'm just gonna dip it in both the colors and just contour the side of my nose Then for my eyebrows, I'm going to use my Eyelure Eyebrow Pomade. I've been using this thing for years and it works so good for me. I grab it every day for my everyday makeup look. So why would I grab anything different for this video, you know? So let, let's, just, let's just do it. I'm gonna go in with that same little situation from this duo and I'm just gonna use the peach side again because it would be a little silly to use the dark one so I'm just gonna go underneath and clean it up clean up all the mistakes that I made and then just blend it out with a brush and a sponge and I don't do this every day you guys it just depends sometimes I have a very good hand and you know I just draw on the eyebrows and it's perfect but sometimes if I made some mistakes, I'm just gonna go ahead and clean it up like today because I don't know, every time when you try to record something, it just doesn't go right, you know? That's so typical. Okay, I'm trying my hardest not to make a mess, you guys. So I'm gonna go in with a little brush because that will help better sometimes, so. That's it, all blended out. And sometimes if the tail gets a little bit faded away, I just go in with a long lasting eye pencil. This is not even an eyebrow pencil, but it does the job for me. And I'm just gonna, you know, accentuate the tail a little bit, draw that back on. For my eyes, you guys, I like to start off with a eyeshadow primer because you got a prime. And I'm using my Painterly Paint Pot. I had this thing for years and it still gets the job done for me. So yeah, let's just prime up the eyes. And I don't like a whole bunch of crazy eyeshadows because mostly when I do my makeup on the daily, it is for work. So we're gonna keep that in mind. It's not bad to be extra at work, but I like to keep my eyeshadows a little, you know, on the download for that. First I go in with my bronzer and my bronzer is my NYX bronzer. This is in the shape Deep Tan. And I'm just gonna swirl that brush in there and just apply it in the crease. This just warms up the crease and makes it look super, super warm. And I love a warm crease, so that's why I like using bronzers. So sometimes I even leave it like this. I just apply the bronzer, but you know, for the sake of the video, we're gonna go a step further. I like this little quad from NYX and I especially like the orange color and this little color right here. So I think I'm gonna blend in, which color do I wanna use today? I'm gonna go in with the orange first today and I'm gonna apply that in the crease as well. Just make that a little warmer and orangey. And then next I'm gonna go in with this color right here. Deepen up that crease even more, make it more warm.
for the brow bone i just like a highlight so i'm gonna apply a little bit of highlighter and i bought a fenty beauty highlighter this is in the shade me honey and hustler baby so i'm gonna apply a little bit of that onto the uh, brow bone for the eyelid i'm gonna use this little palette right here today we're gonna keep it like a little pinkish and i want to do this color right here and i'm just applying that with this little brush that comes with the palette so i'm just dipping that in and going into the eyelid yes i like that for the inner corner i like to use something a little i just like a pop of gold so i'm gonna use this color right here that i've been using non-stop that's just this color i'm just gonna apply that in the inner tear dots and i'm using that same brush for that we're gonna apply some eyelashes and i'm using the magical angel eyelashes from aliexpress i'll link them in the description box down below in case you were interested i'm not a fancy eyelash type of person i don't splurge on eyelashes because i just in my opinion that is stupid uh i don't want to pay too much for eyelashes you know i applied the lash glue you guys and i'm gonna let that get a little sticky before i apply them to the eyes so in the meantime we're gonna do some highlighting and blush and if we're gonna start off with blush for blush i'm using benefit live in the california dream and it's just this peachy kind of color that i really like it's nothing too crazy so i'm just gonna use my um real techniques blush brush and just apply that you know on the cheeks a little bit give them a little color and you gotta be careful with this because it can be really intense if you don't pay enough attention so nothing too crazy that's good enough for me and then it is my favorite part which is highlighter and for highlighter i'm gonna use my of course fenty beauty um mean money and hustler baby and i'm actually gonna use a both sides first i'm gonna apply a mean money and then i'm gonna apply hustler baby on top so yeah time to set the face and for setting the face i'm gonna use my peach mist i picked this up from sephora as well and this works really really well for people with oily skin because i am one of those people and um especially in my t-zone i get very oily during the day but with this it has been a lifesaver um one thing you need to shake it well before you apply it and spray it so that's what i'm doing and let's just set the face. Mm. It smells really good too though. And then I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender and press in all that moist. Then it's time to go back to the eyes. And for the eyes, I'm gonna start off by uncurling my eyelashes. Um, and I'm doing that by curling them down or uncurling them down. Next, I just take my eyelash on this little um, eyelash applicator and I just apply it to my eye. And what I try to do is keep the mirror under me so that it's way more easier for me to apply it. I think that works the best for me. And that is it for the eyes. I'm just gonna apply some mascara to blend my own lashes with the falsies. Next, it is time for the lips and I'm gonna give you guys a few options because I don't do the same thing every single day. So the first option is a clear lip gloss. So I'm gonna apply that and let that be the look. So I'm just gonna show you the look with a nude lipstick, okay? I like this a lot. Oh, ho, ho, this is so pretty. So 
sometimes when I feel extra feisty, I do a red and I bought this Fenty Beauty uncensored lip stain, paint, whatever. But I'm gonna go in with a lip liner first. This is just a simple red lip liner from Rituals. And I'm gonna apply this to the lip and then fill it in with the lipstick. 